Hey guys, and we're back for another episode of the Minecraft Modded Let's Play. So today, I think I have an idea of what we're going to be doing. But then again, I guess we'll have to see how it turns out. So let's just check our stuff to see if it's going okay. That's going alright. The thing I want to check is my quarry, because I just had a little bit of lagging there. Let's see what he's doing. Nah, we won't kill the poor pig zombie. Oh. Oh. Flick them. How is the build up? Not much of a build up. What's this because of? Um, yeah, like I said, let's go check those quarries. They could be out of um, coal. And then we'll have to check that. So there's no, no items flying through. Yeah, I actually think it's still destroying. Uh, yeah. So it's still working on it. Now, that is some atrocious lag. Let's see if you can just turn down the render distance. Uh, normal. Okay, I normally don't need it short. But I think it actually is the water, but it's alright. Short doesn't actually look too bad. Normal short looks pretty bad. Um, let's just let that load. There we go. So now we can walk back to our house and show you this little thing that I want to make. Well, it's not little, it's actually quite a bit big mod. If I can remember how it's made. So if we go into here, you may know what I'm making. It's like right now, you may know, you may not know. If I remember the recipe. Yes, I think I remember it. Here goes my remembering school. Boom, bang, and bong. The Wand of Apprentice. Yes. This is Thorncraft. So let's let the V's come up here. Slowly rising. Oh, it, it goes up without us. So, we're also going to need some sugar cane. So... I don't even know, because we may not even have enough sugar cane. So, let's see if we have enough sugar cane for a bookcase. Actually, yes, I even think we have some books in our ME network because of... Yes, we've got a few books, and that's enough to make a bookcase, definitely. So if you go in here, grab some wood. One, two, three. No, four. No, six. One, two, three. Let's see if it can be a multicultural bookcase. Three of that wood, three of this wood, and three books equals a bookcase. Now, once you have your bookcase, you're going to want to place it down here, anywhere, and hit it with your Wand of Apprentice. And then it'll drop this book-looking thing. You can pick it up and try and say the name. The Thormonomicon. Yeah, Thormonomicon. Thormonomicon. Then you can open it up, as you can see, and it's got all the recipes that you know. Well, these you need a research to find. So, first thing is you're going to want to make is a articulator work table, which is a table which is made with some wood. So, if we go in here, grab some slabs and grab some planks and make ourselves two of them. There we go. So I think we just need... Actually, I think we need three, but I guess we can make that anyway. So if we go in here, click, click, click. Click, click, click. Another table, and I think we need two of them and one of them. Click that one to make that thing. Nicely done. And we also need... To go in here. We're going to want to get the scribing tools, which is with a glass bottle an ink sack and a feather. So if we can find them, they'll be great. Glass bottle. Glass bottle. Ink sack and a feather. Hopefully we have the feather. Feather. There we go. Easy as that. Chuck them into the crafting table. I think it's shapeless crafting to get the scribing tools. Now, with the scribing tools, you're going to want to put it on these two tables 
face like that, boom. And it'll make a writing... Like, this is where you can research stuff. Which is pretty good. So then, if you go over here... Hopefully we have some paper. No, we don't. Sh sugar. Eh. That, I guess that can be enough for now. So, if we just grab that. Go in here, chuck that away, chuck that away, that, that away. Grab some torches and coal to research first. So if you help in here, put the paper there. Put some torches in and research that. See, it's found something. Now you're going to keep on researching that until you get 100%. Um, until you get to 100%. Now, we're also going to want to put some coal in there. And look at that. Our first spell is Nitor. So if you have a look in here. This glowing flame seems to be fueled by magic itself. The number of uses for this ever-burning flame seems endless. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to pr produce much heat that it can provide to be a steady source of light and energy. And I've got a Steve skin here. Yeah. So, and then you can just right-click this. Boom. Research complete. Nitor. So we have a look in here. We know how to make Nitor, which is in the Crucible. Now, thing is, I can't really do this in my house. So I'm going to take this with us. Outside. Hopefully we can do it. Because, well, the reason I can't do it outside is bec inside. Because it, it uses, you have to have a flame bucket. And that's bad for you. Bad for your house. Now, I'm going to have to make a house somewhere um, around here. I forgot to change these. I haven't changed these in a while. So let's just change the bees. And then find a spot for these. Um, up there. It's okay. Now, there is symptoms that happen if you do too much research. Now, I'm kind of... I'm not the best at... Um, Thorncraft, so you may have to help me out if you know Thorncraft. So, there's describing tools, a bit of paper, and the wand. And we're going to want to make the, um, if we go up to here, a crucible, which is a cauldron, um, clicked on by the wand. So if we go over here and make a cauldron, Grab some iron as shown. I hope in our crafting table up. And make a crucible ball and a cauldron. Now I think that's all we need is a cauldron. So if we go up here. Now if you ever notice when you hold shift and go over here, it tells you what is in that um, item, which is quite good. So we're going to want to place this pretty much anywhere we want. So for us, it will just be here until we find something else. Now, to get this to work, you're going to want to click it with your wand, and there's a cauldron. It does look different, so you can tell it's not a cauldron anymore. So we're going to want to get some lava. So where's the closest lava lake? Um, actually, we've got a lava lake right under us, so I think there's still lava. Plus we've got a lava lake over here where I'm going to. We, we have a few lava lakes actually. So, the thing is, is there any lava remaining? Yes, there is. Yay. We've got lava. Well, I think you can use fire, but lava is obviously a lot more efficient because of how much heat lava can produce. Speaking of lava, I should be setting up a lava pump to bring us lava to give us a nice efficient supply of power. So that's that. Now to make nitro, it says that you need some 
flame, torch, and potentia, which is pretty much torches and coal. So, if we chuck some water in here, let that water boil up for us, grab some coal, chuck how much potentia? I think it's just two of them and one of them. Um, what's it say? Uh, four and two, six torches. Yep, six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to chuck two more of them. That makes it to four of them. And that's all we need. We can check them away, grab our wand out, and click on this, and boom. That is some um, night ore. Night ore can be placed down for a nice torch. And that's, yeah, I think it's got a few more uses, but that's about it. Uh, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for further episodes. Have a nice day.